One photo from the Home Secretary's trip to Rwanda this week is causing controversy. That photo was doctored. In what way? It cropped out the other people the Home Secretary was sharing a joke with. Can you share it with us? No, because we're still before the watershed. Is laughter not a bit insensitive? No, she's one step closer to achieving her dream of seeing migrants being flown to Rwanda. She deserves a bit of a chuckle. Is there not a contradiction at the heart of this plan? In what sense? Well, you're telling people that if they try and claim asylum in the UK, they'll be deported to Rwanda. Yes, if people are people trafficked here, then we'll punish the people traffickers by people trafficking the trafficked people somewhere else. And yet, Suella Bravman made great play of how nice the homes in Rwanda were. She even complimented the decor. Well, you should see the wallpaper in her office. She ended up with all the scraps Boris got rid of from number 10. I mean, anything's better than Theresa May's taste. So is Rwanda meant to be a deterrent or not. Yes, a lovely deterrent. We're saying to people that if they try and come here, then we'll send them to some lovely homes over there instead. So you're threatening them with a nice time. No, it's a deterrent, but a pleasant one. A Pleterrant. Are you sure it's pleasant? A report published only this week is very critical of Rwanda's human rights record. For example, it says, and I quote, conditions are generally harsh and life-threatening in unofficial or intelligence service-related detention centres. Ugh, who wrote that? No doubt some lefty liberal wokies from Amnesty International. That was the US State Department. And we take what our friends and allies say very seriously, which is why we want to make it clear that we don't want to send anybody to Rwanda. You just said it was pleasant. None of this makes any sense. It's not supposed to makes sense, is it? It's supposed to make people on both sides angry. What? Yes, our side gets to think that we're being tough, but when it inevitably gets struck down by the lords or the courts on human rights grounds, we can say, well, we tried to do something, but those pesky judges wouldn't let us. Right. And all the lefty lawyer types get very publicly het up about it too, which helps us out because, well, our voters find them very annoying anyway. So you're saying it's all a publicity stunt. Suella Bravman doesn't really want to send refugees to Rwanda. Oh, no, I'm pretty sure she does. So hang on, is she a true believer in this plan, or is she a cynical politician using it to whip up division? Why not both? Thank you, Minister. Next up, as another damning report is published into the Metropolitan Police, we ask, how many bad apples would you have to find in a barrel before starting again with a fresh barrel? And would you trust Suella Bravman to be involved in selecting the new apples?